This video will look at the concept of pi resonance and polyatomic bonding in conjugated polyene molecules. So I've got this molecule here, 1,3-butadiene. I have four carbon atoms here. They're all in a plane, all sp2 hybridized. Each of them has a pz orbital coming above and below the plane of the molecule. So there are four electrons that are going to be in my pi system here, forming two pi bonds but these pi bonds are going to be conjugated to one another. So there's a, an effective pi bond between one and two, pi bond between three and four, but also resonance structures where there, there, there's a contribution of pi bonding between two and three as well. So I want to use Huckel theory to predict what are the energies of this uh, type of molecule, the energies of the pi system, and how does that differ from just having a, a single uh, a single isolated pi bond. So I'd have in the linear variational method, my wave function is a linear combination of all of the orbitals that I'm putting in here. So my, ham my secular determinant, according to Huckel theory and the linear variational method, um, I have alpha along the diagonal for the energy, so alpha minus E. And then I have coupling between one and two of beta, so beta and, and one, two, and two, one. 2 and 3 couple, so I have beta and 2, 3, and 3, 2, and coupling between 3 and 4, so I have beta in 3, 4, and 4, 3. Okay, so I have this determinant, and that's going to be set equal to 0. So I can factor out the quantity beta here, and I'm going to define the quantity x. x is defined as alpha minus e over beta, and when I factor out beta to the fourth here, I get a determinant which is x down the diagonal, and ones uh, down each of the uh, row down each of the diagonals nearest to the main diagonal. Um, so it starts to become fairly difficult to do four by four determinants by hand in general. I'm not going to describe that procedure in detail, but that's something that you can look up in in mathematics books. But what you get for the polynomial here when you expand this determinant, luckily th there are zeros here, so you get a lot of the terms to cancel. When you finally gather everything up, you get beta to the fourth times x to the fourth minus 3x squared plus 1 equals 0. So this is a polynomial that I can solve for its zeros as well. It's a fourth order polynomial, so it has potentially up to four solutions, and in this case it does x equals plus or minus on the outside, 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2, and when you substitute in the numerical values of the plus and minus in each of those four possibilities, you get plus or minus 0 0.62 and plus or minus 1.62. So that gives us the following energy level diagram once we remind ourselves that x is alpha minus e over beta. We get starting out at our energy of the isolated PZ atom, <clears throat> PZ orbitals is alpha. So we have one that is alpha plus 1.62 beta in the lowest energy orbital, alpha plus 0.62 beta, alpha minus 0.62 beta, and alpha minus 1.62 beta. For our four orbitals, we put four orbitals in and we got four energies out. So we'll remind ourselves that beta empirically comes out to be about minus 75 kilojoules per mole. So this one is uh, 100 and something below the, def below the zero, and this one is going to be around, let's see, probably around 40 something uh, joule kilojoules below zero. So now the question is, what is the energy of this system relative to something that isn't conjugated? So the energy of our pi system in C2H4 from the previous video on Huckel theory, that was equal to, we had two electrons in our lowest energy orbital, which had an energy of alpha plus beta. So the energy of that pi system was two alpha plus two beta. In this case, we have four electrons, two of them in an alpha plus 1.62 beta orbital, two of them in an alpha plus 0.62 beta orbital giving us a total of 4 alpha plus 4.48 beta. So the resonance energy of this molecule here is going to be the difference in energy between its pi system 
and two isolated pi bonds that we saw from ethylene. So twice of two alpha plus two beta is four alpha plus four beta. So subtracting that from four alpha plus 4.48 beta, we get that our resonance energy is going to equal 0 0.48 beta, which when we take into account that beta is about minus 75 kilojoules per mole, we get a resonance energy of minus 36 kilojoules per mole. So Huckel theory actually does a qualitatively reasonable uh, uh, job of predicting the fact that when we have conjugated double bonds here, and we get that extra coupling element between two and three, between our adjacent uh, carbon atoms there, that puts an extra coupling element in our determinant. That affects the final energies of our diagram. Our bonding orbitals get lower in energy, and that extra energy is the resonance energy of our molecule pushing us down lower in energy due to the favorable overlap of these uh, of these conjugated pi bonds which are next door to one another.